Oh yeah, this is amazing. I know you always wanted to try a skirt stick, but which one should you choose, inside or outside? That's what we're going to find out today. Some people call it entrana and use it for tacos. I just love this as an ordinary steak. A lot of texture, a lot of flavor, but there's an inside and an outside skirt steak. Which one should you choose? Hey, I'm just as curious as you are. I never did the side-by-side -side comparison. We're going to do that today. Before we're going to do that, we need something to season it with. So let's start with our rub. This is a quick and easy rub consisting of salt, a little bit of black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder. Mix it all up and it's ready to be sprinkled onto our steak. You can find the exact recipe on our website. I know what you guys think. They look quite similar, but actually that's not true because uh, this steak is a lot larger than this one. This is the outside skirt steak and this is the inside skirt steak. The size difference is almost double the size. So I know what you guys are gonna say. Pitmaster X, that's an easy decision. Just give me the largest steak. Well, I don't think it's gonna be that simple. I think there are a lot of things that involve like tenderness, flavor, that we still need to figure out. So let's get this rub on that we just created. And basically it's just more of like a seasoning salt with a little bit of light flavor that we're putting on. The steaks are really thin, so we don't wanna over season them. Let's fire up the grill. Now that our barbecue is hot, I want to start with making a nice steak sauce. Let's start with some butter and flour. Turn that into a roux. When it starts to brown, you add chicken stock. A little bit of our homemade barbecue rub, some cooking cream, some fresh pressed garlic. Stir it up and add a lot of Parmesan cheese. A little bit of fresh chopped oregano and your sauce is done. The cheese sauce. I know one person that's going to like this cheese sauce, even though he's not hungry. Let's start grilling those steaks. Right, there we have it. Our steaks are done, they're cooked, they're sliced up, we got a cheese sauce ready. All we need to do now is taste it to compare it. Ooh, that, this is a lot of steak. This is perfect for me. I'm gonna start with the inside. Delicious steak. Definitely, definitely got a bite. Already perfect. It's kind of what I like about these steaks. You know, you're, you know you're eating a steak. It's like definitely there. Crunchy. It's got structure. It's got flavor. Really good crust, juicy. I really, really enjoy it. A lot of flavor in it. it, it and it's so soft from the inside. And yet, the crust is so good. Mm. Amazing. Really, really good. So how about the outside skirt steak? I and mean, it feels more juicy. I wasn't expecting this. A little bit tougher maybe, better crust though. Now to be fair, I cut the outside skirt steak a little smaller than Marson did. But I have the feeling that there's something missing. Mm. Oh wow, a lot chewier. It's definitely a lot more work. I mean, it looks juicier. I'm not sure if it is juicier. I, I would rather choose the, the outside skirt because I love it, it's big, the crust is really good. I just have the feeling that, that the inside skirt, it just has more flavor. I like it, don't get me wrong. It's more delicate. Not even a competition. The inside skirt steak, much, much more tender. 
I'm choosing the inside skirt steak. I love both. Both are juicy, but the tenderness of the inside skirt steak, much more tender. So now more important things, because let, let, let's give the outside skirt steak a redemption. Maybe it's not as good as the inside skirt steak, but cheese makes everything better. Wow. Wait for it. Wow. It's like eating a delicate dish. This is amazing. Oh yeah. It's like an experience, like... Oh man. When you have a really great cabanera. It's like a cheese pudding. You know, it's just over the moon good. Then there, um, and the cheese sauce has so many flavor in it. It's maybe indescribable. It maybe sounds weird to put a, a cheese sauce on steak, but it's not weird. It's not weird at all, it's, it's perfect. Don't think you're weird if you love this stuff. You know, this is perfectly fine. Cheese sauces on steak? Sure, why not? I know, my mama, she just used to put it on vegetables. Cheese sauces on cauliflower, that's a kind of a Dutch thing. I don't know if people from other countries do it, but in the Netherlands, cauliflower comes with cheese sauce. If you make your own and you have a good one like this, <laughs> let me just try the cheese sauce separately. This cheese sauce is like, it's on a whole nother level. Cheese sauce with steak, I know you're gonna love it. Give it a try, you're gonna be freaking out and you're gonna be so happy you watch this video. What can we say? Thank you, thank you patrons. Thank you YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's my click. and keep on grilling. That's right. I love that, that cheese sauce, Marshall. It's, it's, it's like, Mm. Things that make you go, mm. Things that make you go, mm. That down. There's just a little bit of pepper from the rub, but not much. But it still gives you that, that peppery... Uh, and I love the oregano that's really in the back. It's not overpowering or anything. You hardly notice it, but it's still really, really good.